Okay, so with this bowl, we're going to use a balloon. You can blow it any size that you want and then just stick it in a bowl so this way it has some leverage. And then rub the Vaseline like I did with the other bowl. Just rub it over the balloon so this way your uh, paper and the decoupage, whatever you use, Mod Podge, doesn't stick. You can use Elmer's glue. You can use whatever. Uh, but you want to make sure that you rub that Vaseline over that balloon because I've seen it on YouTube where it doesn't pop and we want to pop this after we get this formed over the balloon. So you're going to take newspaper, whatever scraps you have of anything you want, but I'm going to use newspaper and just, you know, start laying it and collaging it, whatever, onto this balloon. And then we'll get to pop it. It's just so much fun. So I hope you enjoy this. Let's go. Here we go. We're going to start layering paper and uh, see what happens, right? Okay, it looks like this is dry. So, let's show you. Seems dry. So you're supposed to pop it. And so we're just gonna poke it with. How cool is that? So now we have a bowl. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So I guess we're going to trim it. All right, we trim it. Kind of goes in. Kind of funky. I got to make a. I'm going to have to make a little stand for it because it surely is not going to stay up. <laughs> that is so funky. Okay, so let me just trim it a little bit and then I can kind of cut it properly. You know. Get some of the, I don't know how to think about what I want to do for the bottom part. That's the only thing I'd see. I didn't get this even, so I'm going to have to cut it down or put more on it. But see, it's, it's not even on the top, so I don't know how much I want to cut it down the sides. It's still a little wet. And it's, oh, this is the part that was by the balloon. So yeah, so it's a little damp in there. So I'm going to dry it a little bit to the inside and then it should probably have some Vaseline in there. So we're going to wipe some of that Vaseline off like we did with the, the bowl. The bowl in the bowl. And see, I have another one going. Another I thought, well, I'm going to make a bunch of these since I'm in the mood, right? And try different things. So, okay, so so that's so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dry this and then kind of wonder what I, you know, I was looking at what they were using for the stands and it's just like a piece of cardboard. You just, you know, make a circle and but I, I don't know if that's what I want to do. Do I want to just do that? Hmm. kind of want to make like legs or something. I don't know. But see, it leans. 
So. So, 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 so. Okay. So, so maybe if I kind of spread it out a little bit. Because it is pliable, you know. And that's really the way it should be, right? But it tilts over. Okay, so I kind of want it like that. So, okay, well, I'm going to dry this a little bit more and then I'll be back. I just want to show you, I'm playing with it and I'm kind of making a flat bottom to this so that I can put legs on it because I don't really want to just put a circle thing on it. So I'm just kind of taking my coffee cup too. <laughs> just kind of pressing in there to get it figure out how to get it see you can kind of get it I just don't want it tilted so you can do something like you know, like say maybe have an inside of this hanging around or something and you want to, you can do that because then you can, what they show you is they put that on there, they tape it on and then they put the paper all around it so it kind of all blends in and looks like one piece. Uh, so you could do that and um, or go crazy like I'm trying to do. So we'll see. I don't know what I'm going to decide to do, but I'm going to dry this a little bit. Okay, I'm going to show you what I did to make the stand, um, and then I'm going to, of course, go over it, but um, I just have that on. I hot glued it. So what I did was I cut <clears throat> some corks, and I tried to cut them as best to size as I could. These, of course, are not to size. So what you do, I'll just hit one center of the same size here. You just take your corks, and I put four. Um, I cut mine so they weren't as high. I put them together. I hot glued them on the on the bottom and stuck them on the the bowl, right? And then I filled, you can see it oozing out. I filled all around it with hot glue and then I just taped it. And I was thought I was recording, but it wasn't. So that's why I'm I'm going over this again. Okay, here we go. In the camera, Rita. Uh, so there's four in here, they're hot glued on, and then I poured hot glue, you know, I just let it run in between them, so this will stay on really tight, besides putting it, gluing it on, you can see some of the hot glue is coming out, but it's, I want it to be nice and tight, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, just do the paper all around or whatever I do, actually I was thinking of doing um, some plaster, um, Venetian plaster all around it so I may be doing that but uh, I couldn't think of what to put there and then I thought well do I really want to just stick little legs on this I don't know how heavy it's going to be once I get done with it because I you know I have some ideas so I thought well I'll just do I'll just put the corks and you see you can still mess around with it right now so until you get it really firm you can play around with what legs you want to use. If you want to use something round or, you know. This would have been great if I would have said, you can't throw anything out. I'll tell you. If you throw anything out, you, you as soon as you throw it out, it's like, oh, I could have used that. Like these things. Who would have thought? But for now on, I'm going to keep these insert inside of these tapes because they're nice and strong, too. And that could have made, you know, a nice uh, bottom but this will work and then we're gonna I'm going to get my Venetian plaster out and so I want this to be very what do you call it, like I don't know I don't really know 
just something cool. So we're going to, I'm going to um, put some more of these, the paper on it, and then I'll put the plaster on it. So I will be right back. Let me show you what I've done. I tape the edges. I cut them and then tape them just to give them a little bit more of a rounder. And you can build it up, you know, if you want to put more of an edge. I mean, you definitely can build it up and do more. But now I'm going to gesso it. So I just wanted to uh, make sure I had the, the edges on the top nice and secure. Now the other one I didn't do that with but I may do it with the um, other small one. I don't know the other one that I'm making. But with this one, because it's big, I wanted to make it a little more sturdier because, you know, look at the size of this one. So I'm going to do the gesso first before I put the plaster on it just, just to give it another coat of heaviness. And then the plaster will be real heavy. But... Um, and then you could fill in any crevices that are left from, you know, the tape and stuff like that. And go around it. You want to put glue in there, you surely can. But I'm just going to just do it with the gesso. So I'm going to do the inside and the outside with gesso uh, before I start putting the plaster. Okay, so now I'm having fun putting the Venetian plaster over it. And you can find Venetian plaster at Home Depot, just in case you didn't know that. It's there. And it isn't a big gallon. It's about $30, $35, but you'll use it. It'll last you a long time. Okay, so now this is drying. You can see that it has cracked in a lot of places. I was going to put crackle paste on here but I don't have to look at that how cool that is huh that is so cool so it did crack and you can see I've got my pretty smelly uh, aroma therapy going and I've got the lemongrass in today tonight so that's so cool and what I've done is I've cut out some cardboard thin cardboard pieces to kind of put on here and I'm gonna gesso over them and see, um, let's see, I'm going to put a little flower, I have a couple of moons, and some flowers, and some petals, actually, not to make into flowers, so things like that, you know, and kind of do that. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue these on, and I have a heart, and um, I also made a wire heart that uh, I may embed in this at the end and um, just more thing you know I had a leaf here somewhere I've got to find it I had a really cool leaf that I may be putting in there too and um, just you know kind of make it cool I'm gonna have to do it this way because otherwise I'll have everything all wrong so wouldn't that be nice with the, the stars in the moon I think I'll make a couple more stars and then have a heart have it like interesting things going around and then I'm going to just gesso them but I'm so in love with the cracking I just really am now the inside I may be doing with paper again um, like I did the other one because I oops sorry camera is too close um, too far away sorry and um, so I may be doing with paper again and then putting on the outside some of these cut up uh, cardboard pieces see what I you know I don't know exactly right now but we'll see and I also took out a feather I have no idea where that's going if it's even going and I have some more I don't know I'm into the copper for this I don't know what I'm visualizing but we'll see how that comes out oh I made this too I made this crazy like kind of wiry piece that I thought would go nice on here. I just have to kind of get it on there. But I thought that would look nice, you know, once it's all decorated and the colors are on. So let's see. I am going to do the paper inside, 
cut that up and put it on and then I will glue the pieces on the outside and then I will be back. Well, I decided I needed some more paper because I was getting low on jelly paper, uh, jelly print, whatever you call them, and I couldn't find my jelly roll or whatever that thing is, <laughs> and so I had to use glass because I don't know what I did with it. So I used glass, and I just made a whole bunch of paper, uh, pretty painted paper out of deli sheets, out of wax paper, and out of newspaper. Really cool. So And so I could use it in the bowls and the journal covers and things like that, so it was fun. I am going to show you what I'm playing with. Okay, so this is, I cut out those pieces of uh, cardboard, so that's them. And then I, this one got a little messed up, but we'll see how it comes out. I put the heart there, and then I went over it with um, the, um, uh, the glue, the hot glue. And then I went in here and I made some flowers with hot glue. There's the stars with I'm trying to just get the string. That's the only thing with the hot glue. It makes so much, the string. But I thought I would just try it, just to see. So if it comes out a mess, it comes out a mess. It's just, I just thought I'd try this. Now I'm going to go over this all with a gesso. I've never used a hot glue, you know, gone over it with gesso. So I don't know. Boy, there's a lot of strings. You don't even see it when you're doing it get all the strings off so we'll see how this works if it's good then I know that I can do it now I you know it was freehand so some of this kind of droop down and melt you know kind of drip so but I thought well it, at least it'll be interesting right whoa so just get all this hot glue threads it's like webs spider that's what I should have done I should have just put a spider on here huh and the webs would have been there. I'm just worried about this heart because it's kind of all different bumpy kind of. So we'll see how that goes. And I put some around the base here. And you can see. And what I did is I made these little things um, and then just glued them on. So they are glue, but I made them and put them on the um, the metal pan and they, the porcelain pan, I should say. And they just, you could use a craft mat or a one of those baking sheets things and it releases so I just did it like that so they'd be pop up a little bit okay so let's see what it looks like when you gesso it okay because I still I, I'm hoping I get to keep the cracks okay so now I am going over it with another coat of gesso so I want to make sure I go over all the cardboard and all the um, you know the glue and make sure everything is coated so you don't see any of it and then I'll go over it again with Venetian plaster because you want to make sure it like all kind of blends together so it looks more ceramic-y. Okay I just want to show you I went over everything with the um, um, Venetian plaster uh, and I'll probably do another coat of the gesso over it because I can see a little bit that I missed. But I kind of redid, uh, let's see if I can get that in there, the heart shape added to it. And then kind of went in all the crevices because I want this to kind of be smooth. So I may have to do another coat. Yes. So this looks like it's dry. It's been overnight and I think, oh, camera, camera. Let me just fix this camera. It's kind of hanging okay there we go and there okay so I'm just gonna start putting some color now I'm using a very watered down golden high flow phthalo blue so I just did it because it's it's a beautiful color um, it doesn't even show as nice as it is on the camera. It's really a pretty color. So I started with that because then I could get the little dark in the crevices and everything. And then I went into the um, Liquitex uh, Heavy Body and used that. And that was the light aqua green, I think, or aqua. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Getting some of it on to stay on some of it to come off there's so many luscious bumps and 
crevices and cracks and you can really go crazy once you put all this stuff on here. And I think I've got the dark color in all the, you know, covering up all the white so I shouldn't have to worry, hopefully. Well, I'm really happy the way the um, ah, da, 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 the hot glue took the color and the gesso and the Venetian plaster and it just um, you know what that's coming out so bright let me let me just dull that a bit. I don't know if it's because, let me see the light. Let's see if you can see that better. Let's see now, it's still a little bit too. Let's adjust it a bit. I don't know if that's, you can see, yeah, I think you can see the contrast better. Although this is very dark, but you can still see the contrast. It's a little bit not so dark in person, but it's hard because it's shiny and, um, you know, it's the webcam. So it's aiming down. Oops, I see a little bit of white here that I didn't get. Go in there with some of my phthalo blue and get that covered. I don't want any white to show at all. Do not, do not, do not. So I like the the dark background with the lighter pieces in the front. I think that's cool. You know, I think it's just coming out really cool. So I'm going to let that dry because I want to keep layering this with different colors. But in the same fam, you know, blues and greens, I think I'm going to stick with. I see some more white. Got to attack it. White out, white out. I don't want any. It's, it's hard with the crevices because you got to get in. And this brush may be too big for those. So I may have to go in with a smaller brush. But I do not want white to show from any angle. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. And if you hear banging, that's my husband upstairs banging away. There's always something to do in this house. I've got to turn that light back on here. I can't see. I've got to get some more lights for in here because there's so many shadows. You need to have those nice big lights when you're filming, I think. And around. I'm trying to see if I've got all the white. It's like the underneath ones. It's hard. But I want it to blend in. I don't want it to look like it's been glued on, right? See if it shows up better. You can see I'm using the um, this one. My hands are actually a mess. It's more green than blue, but it it goes on there. So I did a layer of that over it. Just rubbed it on with um, baby wipe.
Okay, so now I put a coat of this, my hands are a mess, sorry guys, teal uh, metallic from Americana Decor. Okay, so now I'm going to do some of this. I think I'm going to put this berry, and I've got gloves on now. I've got plastic gloves uh, because I don't have to use any sticky stuff. When I'm using sticky stuff, it's just a use, it's useless wearing gloves because it this sticks to the gloves and I can't work like that. I have to feel. So with this, I should be able to do it. I should be able to get by. I'm trying to see. Okay, I'm just going to use a big, big brush for this. I got to get myself some one inch kind of brushes. Okay, so let's so I'm gonna just put it on. And this is that berry. And I'm gonna wipe it off, hopefully. Quickly. Get some of it off. Baby wipe. Okay, I think that's kind of it. Just have a little bit of that in here. And I also have some of the copper, which I want to see how that looks. So I'm just going to dry this quickly and then uh, put the copper in there. Whoops finger so just smearing it on and I'm liking it quite a bit so that's really looking cool and I'm doing it with my hands because with the brush I don't want it to be too heavy so I just want it to kind of go over the bumps And I think I have more control with my hands. A little bit too much in there. Put the gold. I'm going to go put some gold and have it all in here. very what's the word I'm looking for I don't know I know I know what I wanted to look like I just don't know what the word is that would describe like metallic-y metal metal-y I don't know it's the only thing when you got a bunch of projects going you don't leave yourself a lot of room sometimes really pretty. Hmm. Really pretty. Put some blue in there too, the teal. I really don't know when I'm going to be done with this. I just keep adding layers of stuff, huh? But Sometimes you get really cool effects by doing stuff like that, you know? Adding layers and pieces of the last layer come through and, you know? So that's kind of cool. Okay, so let me show you what else I did. I put black on it. I did a, a wash of black and put that on it so it could fall in the cracks and then I all then I went back in I wiped it off you know whatever I could and then I went back in with another one of the the luminaires by uh, Jaguar it's the um, this one is the metallic russet I wanted to show you what I'm thinking of doing I have these little legs you can see these they have little like prongs or whatever to stick in the and I've used them before 
and I forgot I even had these. So I think I'm going to just like kind of push it in because this is paper. I mean, if it was real ceramic, you wouldn't be doing this, but because it's like paper, I can kind of get it in. I, I'm going to have to do a better job of it, but I just wanted to show you and I wanted to see. Yeah, that gives it a little extra oomph on the bottom. So I think I'm going to be putting them in and um, I may have to have my husband come in kind of because it's really you can't really bang it you got to kind of push it and then I'll just stain them and uh, make them look stand out no I'm not going to make them look I'm going to make them probably gold um, to make them stand out a little bit so that's what I'm doing I just wanted to show you those they okay. really hey I just wanted to show you I think it's done I'm really loving it um I put this little medallion thing in the bottom of that and then on the back here on the bottom I put one and uh, there you see the legs I painted the gold so they're in there and it it's not even it's not perfect but I love it and I don't care <laughs> you know it's it's a little bit off uh, here but that's okay I love it I'm crazy about it I think it came out really cool for my first try with the balloon um, <laughs> it cracks me up the balloon bowl so I'm loving all the colors I am going to coat this with a varnish um, and do a really couple of coats outside and inside I think it's like really cool so I'm loving it and these are the show you the medallions I had made these years ago and what they were what they are they're you know I took like one of these um, what do you call these gear kind of things it was to put them together and then made these little uh, hearts and stars and I think moons too out of uh, polymer clay as a moon too if I'm not mistaken and um, I had made these necklaces I forgot I even had these I had sold them in my store you know we had our I told you guys that I had that little um, studio with the store and um, I used to sell those so I thought oh I painted the gold the rim because this is more of a, a brass looking so I painted it gold and put that in there and then the one on the bottom so I think that's cool. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So this is so much fun, guys. You gotta try it. You really gotta try it. I had a blip. Messy. Messy as anything. I mean, I was a mess. Uh, but I love it. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope I inspire you to make a balloon bowl this time. So I'm having fun making bowls. So this will be my new thing for the next month or so. You know, you get in, start making bowls and stuff and or whatever else it is that you get involved in and you want to do. And you got to make them while the getting's good. Make as many as you can. You can give these as gifts if they don't mind imperfection. Now, if you're going to make it, you want to make it perfect. Well, you know, I don't know. You know, I, I cut mine is a little bit higher on one side, and that's about the only thing I can see that um, is a little bit cockeyed, but uh, you really can't tell. And, I mean, I just love it. I just love, you know, next time I do this, you know, I'll be more experienced, and I'll do it um, a little bit better the next time. But for right now, I'm, like, in love with this absolutely in love with it. it it looks metal that's it looks like it's metal that's what I like about it loving, not that, loving and that Venetian plaster you know I could have even done another coat of the Venetian plaster um, you know maybe the next time I would do that um, and I've got ideas for you know what I would um, put on it the next time you know as far as the designs and stuff so this was just just really you know my first fun crazy attempt and it's heavy it is heavy by the time you get through with the paper and the uh, plaster and the gesso and the paint it is a nice solid piece so it ain't going anywhere you know so well I love it I hope you do and I hope you make one and I'd love to see it if you do please let me know show me I love and I love hearing from you guys and let me know if you like this video and if you plan to make one or 
Maybe just you think it's cool. Maybe you're thinking, well, maybe I will. It's the easiest thing to make. It is so easy. It just blows me away. So I hope you'll try it. I love you guys. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye. <music>